Hey guys, before this tutorial video starts, I just wanted to recap with you that this method will be a lot quicker than previous videos, taking about 15 minutes to complete the bypass. This bypass will be very quick in this new method that I figured out. I'm glad I'm here to bring it to you guys. Please subscribe if you want to use the hotline number in the description if you need any help. I will answer the phone immediately and I will be there to help you. But you must subscribe because there's a verification system that checks if you're a subscriber or not. Thanks. Okay, this is the iPhone 7, and I have the box here to prove it. Now this device still has the iCloud account and an Apple ID. And I will be removing the account from the device without the password. I do not know the password, nor do I have a way of figuring out the password. So I'm going to be removing or bypassing the screen so that way the device can be used brand new once again still has all the personal apps still on the device so I'm gonna have to remove everything and using this method we'll remove the account but we'll also erase the device for you so without further ado let's get to the method okay now what you want to do is while it's on plug it in let it install once it is installed onto your computer you can do this on Mac or PC you want to power off the device. Here, let me grab that real quick. Okay. So you want to you want to hold the home. I mean the power and volume down button until the screen shuts off. Keep holding the volume down and power button until you see this screen. On the top there it will say support until you see this screen. On the top there it will say support.apple slash iPhone slash restore. Okay, so once you see that screen, you're going to want to go over to your computer where it's and see where it says update or restore you're going to want to click on restore now you want to click here a restore and update are you sure you want to restore this iPhone iPhone to its factory settings all your media and other data will be erased and the newest version of the iPhone software will be installed click restore Okay, so the uh, latest one is 10.1.1. That's to show you that this is a very recent video. I'm doing this at 3.50 p.m. on 11.23, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Okay. So you're gonna wanna let that load there. Let it go for a while until it's done. Okay everybody, now once the device has been completely restored and you're back at the hello screen right here as you can see on the device, you want to pull up HTTPS m.att slash top level slash wireless slash biopes slash check IME HTML. Here, why you're going to want to do this, you need to register the IME into their system. So that way you can completely declare a device of your iCloud, Find, My iPhone, and everything on the device because it will send the signal and completely clear the device once this method is done. Okay, so once you go to the device, you press this little button here and it'll show you your IMEI number on the device. Just type that in for them. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, so after it's in the system, it should be done from there. You're good to go. Don't need to do anything else from that point on. Okay, so let's move on. Um, you see the device over here. It's still on everything. Once you're done with that, close out of there. Go to home. English or whatever language you're using. United States or whatever country you're from. And then from there, you're going to want to connect to your 
Wi-Fi, but I'm going to have to open up a password approach. You know what? I don't have my Wi-Fi passwords down on the router, and I don't want to end the video right now. I want to keep this going for you guys. So the second way to do this is you just press connect to iTunes. So can press connect to iTunes, continue without Wi-Fi, you need a network connection to set up App Store, iTunes, iCloud, and other services, continue. Okay, so it's going to say connect to iTunes. Obviously, you guys have seen the screen before. And then you go to iTunes, and it says there is no SIM card installed on this iPhone. You are attempting to activate. Please disconnect and insert a SIM card into the phone. So there's obviously no SIM card. So what I'm going to do is grab a SIM card of which I have with me. Sorry about the delay, I should have had this out already. Uh, clear that out of there. Okay, it should be here somewhere. There we go. I think this is the right. Okay, so a common misconception with this is, is that a lot of people think that you need to have a SIM with the activation or service and that is not the case okay for this method to work you do not need a service on the sim you just need to have a sim that is up the service of the phone so let's say you bought a phone and it was sprint you're obviously going to need a sprint sim card i mean i guess if it's unlocked it doesn't matter but for this particular iPhone 7, it is not unlocked. So I'm going to be needing a proper SIM to of which matches this phone. Okay, so let me just open this up here and find the proper SIM. This one looks good. Okay, so you're also going to need something to open the SIM card tray. It's a very small pin location type thing, so you're really going to need, you could use a paper clip or the SIM card tool that I have. I actually found this on the ground, isn't that crazy? Okay, so you're going to want to, oh crap, crap bowl, crap bowl. Gonna have to take the case off, at least to the point of right there. If you guys can see that. And there should be the SIM card tool. Should be able to pop that right open there. Take the SIM card out. And then, here, give me that tray. Put the SIM card in says well, I guess it doesn't matter it says to unplug and then put the sim in but I guess it doesn't matter too much all right put the sim in pop that case back up put the car one so I'll keep that out okay so unplug device is still on and everything and it's kind of crazy in the box, it doesn't say 7, it just says iPhone, even though you can obviously tell it says 7, but can't work, but, okay, now to get back on track, plug the, once it's unplugged, plug the device back in, okay, so at that point on, it should have sent the signal, welcome to your new iPhone, the iCloud has been removed, I have another method on my channel if this method does not work, it didn't send the signal correctly, you can use my other video to connect to a DNS server that does the same exact thing just without the website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did this method for an iPhone 7 specifically. It should work on the other devices, but if it does not, then check out my other video I have on this. I have multiple ones on my channel, so 
tune in for that. Oh, and for the other methods to work, it's gonna you're gonna have to subscribe. It's gonna make sure to verify to for you to use the DNS server. You can also call me in the description, but you're gonna have to subscribe for me to help you. And I that's it. I don't charge anything. You don't have to download anything. None of nothing like that. All you have to do is subscribe, and I'll help you. It means a lot for you to subscribe to me. So I hope this method works. Here I'll just make sure to show you that everything is safe and sound and there you go everything is completely done ios 10 128 gig and iphone 7 iPhone 7 plus so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope it was really informative i hope it helped you out i hope it worked subscribe if you need any help i'll have the my number in the description box below the video so, yeah, if you need any help, just subscribe to call me. If you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Okay, and just to give you guys a little recap on the device, slide to home. Over here, forgot about the new update. There it is, location services, disable, don't need that, uses a lot of data. Set touch ID later, continue. Passcode options, don't add passcode, continue. Terms and conditions, agree, whoever reads those, you know. Uh, I guess I'll use it or whatever. Hey, Surrey. Wow, I can't believe that actually. Hey, Surrey. Yeah, set up later. Why don't you even do that? Don't send, uses a lot of data. Meet the new home button, make your iPhone experience even more personal by choosing the click that's right for you. Get started. Choose your click, oh my gosh, no. Standard view, next. Welcome to iPhone, get started. And there you go guys. No iCloud on this device at all. It's New again. I'll go down the iCloud for you. See, no iCloud, no Apple ID, no mail. There's nothing, there's no anything from the device before. It's brand new, ready to go, and everything. You can activate it, do whatever you want to the device. It's ready to go, so thank you.